Modern Time Spook here, and uh, you'll see at the beginning of the video I put in a little bit of a clip of uh, using the fro. Legs still sore, guys, but I'm getting out uh, at the family, uh, one of the family uh, places here, and uh, just kind of testing this thing out. But I really like this, guys. This is a heck of a tool, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Get yourself a good baton and a good pair of gloves. These are uh, Mechanics Wear Impact Pros. I find them to be one of the best gloves you can get. They're not good for the winter, getting wet and stuff like that, but I find them to be a very good glove for working with wood or doing exactly what I was just doing here. And there is one small drawback to uh, this uh, in a way, because to me, guys, it has a heck of a lot of vibration. But uh, the thing is, guys, just suck it up. Um, as far as being able to build shelters and do stuff like that, the return on getting a little bit of vibration in your hand once in a while is way better than not having this tool at all. It's small, it's easy to pack, you can put it you know, in a pack easy, you can put it on your belt if you had to, or uh, make a sling. I may make a little rope sling just so I can sling it across my shoulder. I like carrying stuff in that fashion. But a uh, heck of a little tool, so I'll show you a few whacks with it here. And uh, we'll go from there, but I did put that little bit in the front of uh, checking it out. <clears throat> Wearing the Triple uh, X knives, Northern White today, just out carving a little bit with it, guys. Love this knife. We'll have a look at that here after with a little bit of carving. But uh, this isn't just a fro video, I just want to show you this fro because I was out. But uh, just kind of messing around, guys. The leg's still quite sore, but uh, you know, nothing all spook can't handle, I guess. But one thing I do like about it, guys, is you can shape the wood to any shape you want. So if you want specific pieces for, like, uh, we'll say using as, like, a, a wedge, you could easily make a wedge. So you can make them, that wasn't a very good one, but you can make them that way to make a wedge. You go right through and make big pieces, obviously. Once you get so far down through because of the sort of convexity of this, you can actually just take the tool down and kind of uh, just sort of push push it out like that. You know, kind of eject the wood out of the way, which is kind of cool. You know, once you're through this, you're through kind of thing, just like that, as I said. But heck of a tool, guys. I really like it. For one thing, guys, they're not expensive. They're like 25 bucks or something like that. For that, guys, stick it in your pack. I'll show you the sheath real quick again. But, uh, you know, for something like this, you can just stick in your pack, and it's out of the way. And, uh, you know, you can do a lot with a tool like this, as opposed, you can carry something like this little belt axe. This does a lot too, guys. I'm not saying get this instead. It's preference by the size of both of these guys you can get away with carrying both of them without a big problem right so anyway guys i just want to show you that and uh bear with me for a second guys and uh i'll show you a little bit of why i like that uh the triple x knives uh or the white what's up guys i'm back i'm gonna sacrifice my baton a little bit here because it's a good piece to show you but why I like knives like this, and I, I mean, this could go for any knife, but this just ha actually has it, is for having that very, very strong tip that Triple X is known for, but uh, also that it's a bit of a spear point. And the reason I'm showing you this is a fellow had asked me that doesn't do YouTube the other day, uh, why I like so-called like bushcraft knives, quote unquote. And I said, well, the reason being is because they're geared towards woods. They're not geared as much towards like, you know, combat or... You know, even survival for that matter, they're geared towards like woodcraft. And this is the main reason why I like this blade shape. Because look at that, guys, in just so many seconds. I can make myself a nice little hole. And this was imperative and is imperative, guys, for doing certain tasks. This thing cuts like an absolute just lightsaber for taking off material. Without even putting any pressure, you can get down in there. So that's kind of why, because Derek and some other companies too, guys, they put an emphasis on working with wood. That's why I like knives like this. This one's beautiful. I'm going to carry it more this time of the year because there's not so much snow out there. But, I mean, you can just get in and do every little task that you want to do, like, easy. And that's the main reason. A um, couple things to come to as well, guys. 
uh, another couple reviews of my Wildo gear. A lot of people have been asking about this. This is a Wildo uh, Casa mug. Excellent, excellent kit. A lot of people have been asking about it on Instagram. And uh, so we'll check that out here real soon too. But this Nikos, you can just get in and just every little precision little thing that you want to do, you can get in and do it. So that's why I like bushcraft knives. So I just want to show you that little fro, a little bit of fro action. And uh, like, look at this thing, guys. Just like a lightsaber. So anyway, guys, Spook signing out. Just want to show you a couple things. Life's like getting better. We'll get out more and do stuff like this here very soon. So stay safe. Keep your stuck on the ice.